Okay, well, I have certainly been called a Nikon fanboy on countless occasions because I've got so much Nikon gear. Lenses and cameras, um, 13, 13 Nikon DSLRs, 100 and, 148 uh, Nikon lenses or something like that. That's not counting uh, Tamron or, uh, or uh, Zeiss or Voigtlander. Um, Nikon's epic failures. Let's discuss where Nikon screwed the pooch. And uh, the video after this will tell you what's actually coming next year in general and also uh, what uh, Nikon is going to be rolling out. By the way, within the next 24 to 48 hours, <whistles> Nikon is uh, going to be uh, announcing the, uh, the uh, D5. So uh, Nikon in New Zealand made the mistake of releasing the information early yesterday and uh, apparently someone was like drunk at the wheel in New Zealand. And, uh, you know, figure the Kiwis, right? No. <laughs> um, but anyway, so it is apparently the case that within the next 24 to 48 hours, Nikon will be unveiling the D5. Not that I give a damn, because it is a, a PJ camera, and uh, it doesn't impress me one bit. Um, thankfully, it will be made in Japan. Thankfully, their, their flagship cameras are still made in Japan with quality and pride. Where has Nikon failed? Um... You remember that uh, goofy douchebag uh, from Dude, Where's My Car? The guy that uh, married Demi Moore, and he's like four, uh, 30 years younger than her. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, yeah, yeah, that's his name. Um, you see, now what defines professional photography, or at least someone that strives to be a professional, is that someone who wants to uh, actually, instead of taking pictures, uh, makes pictures, and uh, Nikon, in their infinite stupidity, has some form of a uh, demented uh, advertising team that thought it would be good to stick uh, a Nikon camera, albeit a dinky, in the hands of uh, the douchebag Ashton Kutcher, which I'm sure he's a fine actor or whatever, but uh, he, he reminds me of the idiots from uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, you know, dude! This is the guy you want advertising for Nikon? That's not the important thing that they got him to do that for. I mean, there's all these guys that are actually up to their elbows in blood and muck and dirt and on the front lines and trekking through the jungle. See, people actually strive and actually uh, admire something that is better than them and they want to elevate them. It is a natural... This, see, this is where Nikon fails. People in advertising don't know jack crap about psychology. People want to elevate themselves. So if you like uh, see a professional race car driver and he endorses a product, he's like, "Oh yes, this Ford is a great car," and uh, you know you can see his awesome, mad, crazy skills with the car. See, when you stick a hand uh, a camera, doesn't matter what Nikon model it is, in the hands of a douchebag, and uh, he's using it in the same way a moron would use their iPhone, then you got a problem. Nikon's advertising department really screwed the pooch. I mean, they that is not something that you'd want to advertise. All you're doing is saying for a whole lot more money, you could buy something that any peckerhead with an iPhone can do. He's just sitting there with a the camera, going, ah! and he uses it to Wi-Fi uh, the data to his iPhone, which, of course, you know, radically downsamples the picture, so you can, like, Facebook it to your friend. I mean, what the... Are you... Are you... Are you... Uh, Nikon, have you lost your damn mind? Whoever hired your advertising team, you know, it needs to be fired. You need to fire your advertising team as well. I mean, you are crazy. You are just bat crap crazy. So stupid. Really, really dumb idea. Show a professional in the muck and the dirt creating beautiful images with like a 300 millimeter uh, f2.8, like taking pictures of some sort of exotic whatever the hell it is. Or some of these guys that are, that are rappelling off a cliff edge. They're hanging from a quarter-inch string of nylon rope, and they're, they've got the whip their Nikon out, uh, their uh, D810 or whatever the hell it is, and they're taking pictures, you know, these radical pictures that people dream of taking. You know, the, the crap that you can't take with an iPhone. You know, these stunning prints that you can print out. You know, show somebody printing out a giant 20 by 30 that has incredible detail. Oh, what do they choose? They choose, they choose the dude from uh, Where's My Car, Ashton Kutcher, to take douchebag iPhone photos. Jesus Christ, Nikon, you really screwed up on that one. Okay, point number two. I guess I, I nailed that one to the wall. And you know I'm right on that. You know, you can't deny it. I'm right. Um, tax write-off. Nikon, you so stupid. Uh, let me see. 
You ever heard of some liminal advertising or free advertising, stuff that's a tax write-off? Nikon could have been sticking these vinyl stickers, like real company, like Black Rapid, for example. You know how small the company Black Rapid is that makes Black Rapid straps? They put in these nice vinyl stickers inside all their crap so people can stick that to their cars and their freaking gear and other people can see it. Nikon would spend zero dollars sticking all these vinyl stickers inside the boxes of their lenses and their cameras so people could proudly stick that crap on their cars and then you've got free advertising roaming the entire world on the back of everybody's car. Nikon sticker, big giant Nikon. People are thinking Nikon, Nikon, Nikon. And they see that stuff. You implant a a bug in their frigging brains. Oh, did Nikon ever think to do that? No, no, Nikon's too stupid to do that. What else did Nikon screw up on? Oh, so many things. What else did they screw up on? Oh, yeah! They decided to roll out that abortion, the Nikon DF, and of course it uses a, uh, the, uh, the uh, Nikon uh, D4 uh, sensor, which is nice, but they decided to use the autofocusing system from uh, the Nikon D600, which just sucks ass. It's just bad, and, and it's just this giant, obnoxious beast. Now, Nikon has uh, an enormous cash bank of, uh, that they could use for research and development. And you think Nikon couldn't have actually whooped Fuji's ass by making something, if not exactly like this, and something similar like this? I know they want to get into the mirrorless. Even if it's not a mirrorless, it could have been half the size of the Nikon DF with a real... Uh, reflex mirror inside of it, but you know, half the size, it's still an all magnesium chassis, magnesium doesn't weigh that much, and they could have had an all manual experience, yet still be digital like this. You see, Nikon, the small team, this, this is why big things always, you know, they lumber, they move slowly. Little companies dash around like rats. The same reason why a, uh, a giant polar bear is a slow, lumbering beast. I mean, they can move a little quickly if they have to. And, you know, a little rat is flitting around, little squirrels. It's the same reason that these big companies can't actually do innovative and creative crap like this. See, Nikon, you could have rolled this out, but Fuji did. And, and they're kicking your ass on this stuff. You know, they're kicking your ass and you can't deny it. You screwed up. You could have made this thing, but you screwed the pooch. You're a gigantic company that has to... This is how IBM destroyed itself. This is the same reason Sony destroyed itself. Because Sony is a gigantic beast. Its mirrorless division is autonomous to a certain degree, but it's still Sony. Sony is making all this shit. Uh, TVs, computers, and... Uh, uh, oh god, the cassette player, I mean, all that crap has gone to hell in a handbasket because Sony was this gigantic company, and uh, it's like a, a giant dinosaur. You'd actually stab it in the, uh, the tail. The, the beast is so big, it would take like X number of seconds to reach the freaking brain. This is, big companies always fail. They cannot be fast on their feet. They have to, you know, a peon has a really, really good idea. He's got to process it through his boss, and it has to be discussed in committees, and the committee has to have a seminar on it, and then they have to have a, a super discussion, then it has to reach the presidential level, then it has to be vetoed or approved, then it has to go back, and then, you know, a hundred steps later, it might reach research and development. Well, that, you know, as, as, after all that time passed, people like Fuji are like, fuck you, we already did it, you know, while you're sitting there debating it in a damn committee. Fuji already rolled it out. I mean, that's just one example. I'm not pointing out uh, the Fuji is a XT. Nikon could have poured this camera out, but they didn't because they're a gigantic lumbering beast. Just like any big company. Boom, boom. You know, you punch something, it's just like seeing something in slow motion or a guy walking on the moon. It's just slow. There can't be any uh, boom, boom, any fast progress in anything. And there could be, but it's a gigantic beast. Everything has to be discussed in committees, and, you know, a good idea is never good enough. You have to have a thousand morons agree on it being good, and you have to have a consensus. There's no such thing as truth by consensus. This is why small companies always end up beating the ass of the big giant uh, beasts, eventually. Not in the short term, but in the long term. They always pound their ass into the dirt, because they're much, much more flexible, tiny, nimble, and uh, this is a Nikon, this is where you screwed the pooch. Some large companies have managed to get around that sort of disgusting mentality. Um, Google actually 
found a way around that too, where like a small guy that has a brilliant idea, it doesn't have to go through a thousand different committees uh, for it to be implemented. It's like, well, that's a really damn good idea, Bob. We're going to, boom, we're going to get right on that. So this Nikon is uh, three examples of where you, I, I've actually got like a half a dozen more, but they're kind of circumstantial. This Nikon is where you screwed the pooch. You don't have intelligent, all large companies are like this. It's not Nikon's fault. Uh, this is where you screwed the pooch. You need intelligent people that have wisdom and vision to actually, especially the commercials. Jesus Christ. I, mean, I, I, I don't even drink. I could get drunk and uh, someone could beat me over the head with a baseball bat and I could roll out better commercials than your advertised stuff that would actually inspire people. People like, oh shit, I gotta go buy a Nikon. They'd see the commercial and that'd be their first thought. Instead, they see Ashton Kutcher, the douchebag, taking iPhone photos with his Nikon and then downsampling and Wi-Fiing them to his iPhone so he can send them on to Facebook. Oh, Jesus Christ, Nikon. I mean, that's what you come up with. It's, you know, 60 uh, years of glass and uh, you're about to celebrate your 100th anniversary and you, you, you pick the douchebag Ashton Kutcher to represent. How about some guy that's bleeding in the dirt that's waiting four hours for the perfect picture? With his Nikon D810 or 7100. You know, Nikon, give me a break for Christ's sakes. Anyway, that was my little rant against Nikon. And if anybody thinks I'm a hardcore Nikon fanboy, hopefully this video would uh, dissuade them. Thank you. Bye.